Hi everyone, in this video we are simply going to work through the solutions for a set of typical questions on rounding and estimation. They are based on the GCSE foundation level, but really should be useful to anyone studying the subject. Question one then, 54,327 people watched a concert. Write that to the nearest thousand. Well, let's look at the number again. It is five, four, three, two, seven. So we're rounding to the nearest thousand. We look for the thousand column. That is the four. Therefore, the number we are most interested in is the next number on the three. Because it's a three, we discard it and this remains at 54,000. So that would be your answer. Question two, the New Horizons probe took 3,462 days to travel to Pluto. Write that to the nearest 100. The 100 column is your four. The number we are interested in is a six because it is five or above. It rounds up. So that becomes 3,500. Question three, work out an estimate for 27 multiplied by 396. Don't forget, in a situation like this, you can round both numbers. So first of all, you've got 27. Well, if you round that to the nearest 10, this is a 7. Therefore, it goes up to 30. 30 multiplied by, well, 396, you would go to the nearest 100. It's very close to 400. 30 times 400. All you have to do is multiply three by four and then put the three notes back on 12,000. And question four, the record for the largest ever group of carol singers was 25,272 set by a Nigerian choir. Round this off to the nearest thousand. Again, you're looking for the column. 5,000 is there. That's your thousand column. What's the next number? It's a two. It's below five. So we disregard it and the answer stays at 25,000. Question five, and we have three parts, so we're going to have to do this three times. The distance from the Earth to the Sun is about 149,598,870 kilometres. I've written that at the bottom here. The first thing it's asking is, is to round it to 100,000. Well, Looking at the number there, 100,000 is actually the sixth column on. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The five is your 100,000. So if five is 100,000, the number we are most interested in is the next number on. It's a nine, so that means it's five or above. It makes the five round up to a six. So your answer there is going to be 149,600,000. Let's look at the second question. This time we have been asked to find the number to the nearest 10,000. Well, 10,000 is your fifth column. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. This time the 10,000 column is the nine. So the number we are considering is the next number on. It's the seven. Again, it's five or above. So we're going to round it up now. That means that the nine rounds up, but of course that would make it a 10. That doesn't work. So in fact, we have to transfer that onto the next number. So the answer we actually get here is the same for part A. It is 149,600,000. And finally for part C, this time we are being asked to round it to 1,000 kilometers. 1,000 of course is the fourth column. So that's the seven. Therefore, the number we are interested in is the next number on, always. That is the eight. It's five or above. Therefore, it means it rounds up. So the answer becomes 149,598,000. Question six. The highest mountain in the world is Mount Everest. Its peak rises to 8,848 metres. What is this height correct to one significant figure? Don't forget the rule. Significant figure starts with the first number that is not zero. In this case, we have no zeros. So the first significant figure is the eight. But we still follow the same rules for rounding. Therefore, we look at the next digit on. That is also an eight, which means this is going to be rounded up. So to the nearest significant figure, it is 9,000. 
meters. Question seven says the official land speed record measured over one mile is 1,227.985 kilometers per hour. Write this to correct two significant figures. Again, the rule, the first significant figure is the first figure after any zeros. There are no zeros. That is significant figure one. That is significant figure two. Therefore, we are going to keep these two numbers we are going to look at the next one. It is only a two, therefore the rest of it disappears. We are not going to round up, we're going to round down. Therefore, the answer is 1,200 kilometers per hour. There is no need to put point naught, naught, naught because the answer is a round number. Question eight, again, we have one in three parts. So I've written the number three times at the bottom here to help us along. The smallest living dog in terms of height is the female chihuahua called Millie, who measures 0.0965 meters tall. Write this correct to one decimal place. Decimal places are the numbers after the decimal points. So one, two, three, four decimal places. In this first part, we are asked to measure to one decimal place there is your one decimal place but the rules of rounding never change therefore we look at the next number that is a nine it's five or above therefore it rounds up so the zero becomes a one the answer is therefore not point one two decimal places one two decimal places the zero and the nine are two decimal places we are therefore looking at the six it is five or above Therefore, it rounds up. It pushes the 9 into a 10, which has to go on to the next column. Therefore, the answer to that is also not 0.1. Three decimal places down at the bottom here. One decimal, two decimals, three decimals. We are therefore looking at the 5. Is it 5 or above? Yes, it is. Therefore, it's going to round the 6 up to a 7. Therefore, we get 0.97. Question number nine, the world's tallest water coaster, aptly named Massive, is 24.86 metres tall. It's 24.86. Approximate this figure to one decimal place. So this part is about decimal places. Where are your decimal places? After the decimal point. So one decimal place is the eight. Therefore, the number we are interested in is the next number on. It's a six, it's five or above. It rounds the eight up to a nine. We get 24.9. Part B is one significant figure. So 24.86, the first significant figure is the two. Therefore, the number we are looking for the rounding rule is the next number on. It's a four, therefore it doesn't round up. So we are left with 20. Again, no need to put 0 0.00. zero. The answer is a whole number. Question 10, Twinkie the Jack Russell broke the record for the fastest time to pop 100 balloons by a dog in an incredible time of 39.08 seconds. 39.08 seconds. Write this time correct to one decimal place. Decimal place, your first decimal place is the zero. The number you are therefore looking at is the eight. It's five or above, therefore it rounds up. So the answer becomes 39.1 seconds. Question 11, three parts. The melting point of the element mercury is minus 38.83 degrees Celsius. Write this figure. First of all, the fact that it's a minus number doesn't make any difference whatsoever, except your answer, of course, will be a minus. So, A, one decimal place. Your first decimal place is the eight. Number to consider is the three. It's below five, therefore it disappears. The answer becomes 38.8 degrees C. B, one significant figure. First significant figure in this number is the three. The rounding is therefore applied to the eight. It's five or above. It rounds up. Therefore, it becomes minus 40 degrees C. And C, two significant figures. One significant figure, two significant figures. We are therefore rounding the eight. It's five or above. It rounds up to minus 39 degrees C. 12, part A, estimate the cost. So 
we have 695 pens and they are all costing 47 pence. So that's the original sum, 695 times 47. But of course, to make life easy for ourselves, we are going to estimate. That's what the question is asking. 695, you would round it to the nearest 100. Therefore, it becomes 700. And 47, round to the nearest 10. Therefore, it becomes 50. All you need to do then is 7 times 5 is 35. Put the three noughts back on and your answer is 35,000 pence. It does say give your answer in pounds. So to convert from pence to pounds, we divide by 100, move the decimal point two places back to divide by 100. And the answer we get is 350 pounds. Now, looking at part B, it says, is your answer to part A an underestimate or an overestimate? And give a reason. Well, the answer is, it is an overestimate. And the reason you would give is because you have rounded up both the number of pens and the price. So in reality, there were slightly few pens and it was a slightly lower price. Therefore, the price in reality would be slightly lower. You have overestimated. Dean, work out an estimate of 39.7 times 60.7 over 203.6. OK, to make life as easy as possible for yourself, you need to round all three numbers. So 39.7, go to the nearest 10, it will be 40. Then you've got 60.7, go to the nearest 10, that's a zero. So it would stay at 60. And 203.6, well, the easiest way is to round to the nearest 100. And of course, the next number is a zero. So it stays at 200. 40 times 60 is 2,400 divided by 200 equals 12. And finally, question 14. Ron organised an event for charity. Each ticket for the event cost £19.95. Ron sold 395 tickets. He paid costs of £6,000 and gave all the money left to the charity. We need an estimate of the amount of money he gave to the charity. So we're going to do our rounding again. The tickets were £19.95. So it would seem fairly simple to round them to the nearest pound, which in fact is 20. So our calculations will start with a 20. He sold 395. Let's round 395 to the nearest 100. So 395 becomes 400. Nine rounds it up. Therefore, if he sold 400 tickets for £20 each, that would be £8,000. He has to take away the £6,000 costs that it mentions. Therefore, the amount he can give to charity is £2,000. Part B then says, is your answer an underestimate or an overestimate? It's similar to the previous one that we had like this. It's an overestimate because we have rounded up the price of the ticket and the number of tickets sold. So in fact, he made slightly less money than we are suggesting here. We've overestimated. And there you go. I hope that's helped you cement your knowledge on rounding to significant figures, to decimal places and to whole numbers. Thank you.